looking live at a sold out Mountaineer field. Morgantown, West Virginia, and Baton Rouge, Louisiana are arguably the two toughest night game environments in the country. And tonight, LSU travels from the Bayou country into the teeth of the gold rush. Show. And this is the biggest arena that he has stepped into since becoming head coach in June. Underway and Austin will take it from the three for the Mountaineers. A left alley and a fine return out to the 29 yard line where it will be first of Washington D.C. area is just behind the quarterback on first down. There is that quick release and up to midfield one of his former teammates 22 for Smith and the Mountaineers. Under pressure snaps it off underneath to Austin and out of bounds at the 45. Second and eight, they look at his direction and go to the outside man. Battle for the ball, and it falls incomplete. LSU is need eight yards on this third down. Has time, wide open Randall. Ruben Randall moves the chains, and LSU moving for Jarrett Lee. Come back with the power eye. They're going to throw off the play action. And Lee's got a man wide open. It goes deep. Another huge throw on third, and that is Odell Beckham Jr. Hey, he is the running game with Spencer Ware in that offensive line. Lee up firing for the end zone, and he's got it for a touchdown. Ruben Randall, who converted one of the two third downs, he grabs the touchdown pass. His football team, and they are becoming a balanced offense. Huge opening drive for the Tigers. Drew Alama tacks on the extra point. Justin, number 20, checking back into the backfield for West Virginia. Gino under pressure, completes it. The battle for the first down and taken away by Matthew. Matthew stripped him as the LSU defense gave up a completion and then they stole it away and there's a play playmaker forced to fumble no doubt but grabbed it midair and scored right. short drop Ooh, Jarrett Lee Herbie's impressive he snapped that one off again to Randall and he, he's kind of getting into a rhythm here Lee hit two big third downs he's two of three for the night here they come again they're going to run for it this time so after passing for two they Shepard slips over to the left side Randall to the right and Ford runs to the left. Daylight. End zone. Touchdown, LSU. Michael Ford. Sophomore from Leesville, Louisiana. And that is his fifth. Comes in. Such a great compliment because of his speed and quickness. Dutch snap. Ball is down. It'll stay at 13. Of South and I abandoned them. I left them. And there's a completion by Geno Smith to start the arm underneath. See if they can snap the ball before they take another look at that. Wow. Geno snaps it off to Austin. And there's some more Great matchup, but that time press coverage and West Virginia hit it. Got the first down, Austin again. This is the guy that they have to get the football to. Now they're really starting to hurry up. Garrison now into that backfield. Play action in trouble. Steps away from it. And fires complete. Into the red zone is McCartney. And that's a beautiful play. Fires complete. Touchdown, West Virginia. Stedman Bailey. Load that muscle. That first quarter went, it couldn't have gone any worse for them to bounce back here in the opening drive of the second quarter. 12 plays, 73 yards left here of Jarrett Lee. 
Ware. Running back from Cincinnati is short of that first down marker. Oh! No, they throw off it! The Mad Hatter is at it again. Touchdown, LSU. Beckham scores. That's 52 yards. Mr. Miles, I don't believe it. To the line of scrimmage and to show the courage to call the play. An outstanding job by the LSU coaching staff. And great execution. Let's go. Gets it back. Complete again. Another first down. Stops the clock as Bailey. But you see Mo Claiborne say that, that Bear, another one back here, doing a great job of taking away, making him throw short. Matthew. Deflected. Picked off. Matthew. Down to about the one yard line. That was the zone where you had to really be careful about throwing the football. It was third and a bunch charge. And rolling and throwing and diving for a touchdown in the end zone is Chase Clement from Thibodeau, Louisiana, the junior. And there they are throwing again when you expect them to run. man's first catch of the year. West Virginia's defense has been unable to lay a hand on Jarrett Lee. He stands in there again and hits Randall for a first and ten at midfield. He's the right tackle right now. Ford, another first down. A lot of maturity here early in this year, and it's on display again tonight. Copeland and Ware are now the running back. There's that play action beautifully executed by Lee. And Shepard goes high to pull it down. Draw play. And close to another first down is Ware. Third down and three. Going to throw again from that tight formation. And Randall dropped a touchdown pass. In the back of the end zone off the play action. Jer the field goal. It's a 30 yarder. Pulled it left. Missed it left. Harrison, number 29. You're from behind him. Ryan Clark's number 32, the fullback. And they run the end around with Austin. Austin cuts off. Looks for an alley. In a foot race. Brought down from behind at the 41 yard line. Tiger territory here. Second down and eight. Back in the pistol formation. Complete. First down. First drive of the second half. Garrison motions. Offensive line gives him time and he fires for another first down. Down to the 10 yard. Austin in motion. Pump fakes in his direction. Comes back middle touchdown West Virginia. Tyler Urban. So they find the tight end. The tight end in this system of course flexes off the line a little bit. They hit one of them. Got the safety out of position and Urban goes right into the hole for the touchdown. Perfectly executed. Bird and Beckham are off to the right. Randall to the left. Lee throws Shepard incomplete and LSU must punt it away tackle <laughs> what are you going to say yeah <laughs> you're right <laughs> so here comes Gino fading back throws over the top got it foot race here comes Austin out of bounds at the 18 yard line if you haven't seen on a fourth down let's see what happens here now first things first set the screen got it to the left side Garrison out of bounds inside the five yard line that is a big time call in that situation the timing Brent of this and Garrison gets his ball down to the two yard line Garrison the freshman for the touchdown 
the coming out of a running back. Through the years of West Virginia, they've had some great running backs here. They're searching. Dustin Garrison may be ending that. And suddenly there's got to be a little unease with the Mad Hatter. Brooks and Claiborne are back. From the one is Claiborne. Burst to the 35, 40, 45, midfield. Won't catch him, folks. A 99 yard kickoff return for a touchdown by sophomore Morris Claiborne from Shreveport, Louisiana. And that followed West Virginia. Alamo. Their opener. Third down and ten. Smith trying to buy time. Not known as a great runner. And that time he steps out of bounds. They're gonna go. LSU with a late substitution. Ball is snapped. Incomplete. He cannot, he has to hurry but not rush. And in that situation, they had to have the first down. First street think they should be the number one team in the land because of playing a schedule like that. Where sprints outside, twists away, foot race to the 30, and down to about the 26. Tandy forced to bring him down. Third and seven. Draw play with Ware. First down. Where the ball, Where well, they brought the line back down. Ford cuts back touchdown LSU. May not have been the dagger, but put this on a 42. Throwing for it. No good. It'll stay at 40. 40 21. Your kids want to come play at West Virginia. Fumble on the snap. LSU pounces on it. West Virginia has turned it over with eight minutes to go. That's the fourth turnover of the night. Take the Huskers on the road and what should be a very hostile environment there in Madison. That'll be a great scene next Saturday in Madison, Wisconsin for that game. And the young man. Takes it in for the touchdown. Alfred Blue, sophomore from Louisiana, 6'2, 215 pounds. That's the second touchdown of the season for Alfred. The extra point is good. You see Blue step into the end zone. A reminder that you're watching Saturday Night Football on ABC. He passed up that opportunity this year and went back to Stanford. And he's just an outstanding young man. Incomplete. And you were telling me right now, looks like this Lattimore of South Carolina. Is he uh, in the chase for some postseason awards? Oh, yeah. yeah. He and Trent Richardson both at Alabama. Two, two great backs. But... Uh, we shall see. You know, a game that uh, it could have gone either way, but after the big return by Mo Claiborne, LSU, most impressive resume in my opinion through the month of September, very well deserving of being ranked at two, and very easily could back, come back uh, on Sunday and maybe be ranked up at number one. If you go by what they've accomplished and you compare that to what everybody else has accomplished.